Hi everybody, it's Fibo Group, and you're watching to the Market Watch Review. While mainland Chinese equities, Korea and Taiwan made small gains respectively, other large Asia-Pacific bourses suffered. Europe's stock 600 is regaining yesterday's gains and some. This is the second session of the month that has lost, something we have not seen in the past three. The US equity futures are down 0.6% to 0.8%. Rising interest rates are impacting risk appetites, and the dollar is generally stronger. After a stronger flash PMI than expected and better public finances, sterling is an exception. Today, the Australian dollar is one of the weakest G10 currencies. Yesterday's attempt to buy gold at $1,850 was unsuccessful. Gold is now being tested in the 1830 region. April WTI reached $7.5 last weekend after reaching $80. It is now in the middle of this range. Asian Pacific Market Japan's flash composite PMI remained unchanged at 50.7, which was above the 50 boom bust level for the second consecutive February. The January CPI will be released this week. The Tokyo figures for the CPI warn of a push over 4% to new cyclical highs. Also, the weekly portfolio flow data will be released. The dollar is moving back towards JPY, 135.00, due to rising US rates. In late Asia-Pacific turnover, it was at 134.85. Last September was the last time Australia's composite PMI exceeded 50. It now stands at 49.2, an increase of 48.5 from January the RBA hawkishness did not translate into a stronger Australian currency. It trades within yesterday's range and is not expected to rise above $0.6820. Market of Europe The composite PMI for Eurozone rose for the fourth consecutive month and was above 50 the second month. It increased to 52.3 from 50.3. It was 55.5 in February last year. The Euro is in trouble. Breaking the dollar 1.06 area could tarnish the technical tone and signal a deeper correction, perhaps to the 1.0460 to 1.0500 dollar area. The UK flash PMI surprise was positive. Although the manufacturing PMI was below 50, it rose to 49.2 from 47.0. To lift the composite above 50, the services PMI increased to 53.3. It was 59.9 in February last year. Sterling is benefiting from a stronger-than-expected PMI and improved public finances. It is the strongest G10 currency, with an almost 0.50% increase. Market of America The phrase no landing to the US economy seems to be gaining traction, but the preliminary PMI will not give any succor. In June 2022, the composite was at 50. It is expected that it will rise to 47.5 from 46.8 in jam. Canada releases December retail sales figures and January CPI. Retail sales are too old to have much impact. In any case, inflation is the main focus. Yesterday, the US dollar fell to CAD 1.3440 and today is consolidating below 1.3500. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.